Welcome again to the newsroom. Candidates in the upcoming Anambra governorship elections slated for November 6 have signed a peace accord in Oka, the state capital. The peace accord, which took place at the Dora Akunyili Women Development Center, had all candidates vying for the governorship position in attendance, as well as the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Mahmoud Yakubu. The initiative is a concept of the National Peace Committee, headed by former Nigerian military president Abdul Salami Abubakar, set up to ensure that the election is violence free and all candidates accept the results of the polls in good faith. The Chairman House Committee on Basic Education and Services, Julius Inhobari, has said that the National Assembly is set to partner with the Universal Basic Education Commission, UBEC, to name and shame those frustrating the implementation of state universal basic education fund board to bear projects in some states. Speaking during the project defense at the National Assembly on Wednesday, Inhobari decried the level of negligence, especially in completion of projects in some states by SUBEB, while applauding you back for its proactiveness in the areas of project implementation and monitoring across states in her barrier commended Gombe and Lagos states for consistency in project and programs implementation. The Health Facility Monitoring and Accreditation Agency, HEFAMA, will on Monday, November 8, commence the Operation Show Your License Certificate of Registration by Health Facilities in Lagos State. Executive Secretary of HEFAMA, Abiola Idowu, disclosed that the directive was given by the Commissioner for Health in the state, Akin Abayomi, to verify licenses of both public and private health facilities and ascertain legality of operations of health workers in the state. She warned that failure to present the licenses is contrary to the provisions of the 2006 health reform law and therefore would attract sanctions. It would thereafter call on stakeholders to complete registration and renewal of licenses on the Air Pharma website. Philippines President Rodrigo Duterte has announced that local government officials in the country will be punished for falling behind their targets for COVID-19 vaccinations as the country seeks to open up the economy. Duterte said there was no reason why daily vaccinations could not be ramped up to at least a million from an average of 500,000 since the country has sufficient stock of vaccines. The Philippines, which has one of Asia's worst coronavirus epidemics, has so far fully immunized a little over a third of 77 million people eligible for shots. Deposit money banks in Nigeria have issued a deadline of December 31, 2021 for the acceptance of old 20 and 50 euro notes to, en to enable proper conclusion of cash evacuation. According to circulars distributed on Wednesday, banks notified customers that they would no longer accept the old notes by the end of 2021 as the Bank of England in the United Kingdom has introduced a new polymer design of the note into circulation effective June 23, 2021. One. The United States Embassy in Ethiopia has authorized the voluntary departure of non-emergency government staff and family members because of armed conflict as rebel forces in the country's north make advances. This decision comes after the U.S. expressed grave concern over the escalating violence and expansion of, of hostilities while repeating the call for a halt to military operations in favor of ceasefire talks. On Tuesday, Ethiopia declared a state of emergency with forces from the northern region of Tigray threatening to advance on the capital Addis Ababa after claiming control of key northern towns. President of the Nigeria Eagle Supporters Club, Sonny Golong, has called for the harmonization of all the supporters clubs in the country towards chairing the Super Eagles to victories in their Qatar 2020 World Cup qualifiers against Liberia and Cape Verde, respectively. Golong, who spoke to newsmen on in Abuja on Wednesday, said there is a need for all supporters clubs to come together as one band to chair the Eagles to victory in the upcoming crucial games. The Super Eagles will take on Lone Stars of Liberia at the Grand Stade Tangier in Morocco on Saturday, November 13, before flying into Lagos for the final group game against Cape Verde Blue Sharks at the Teslim Balogun Stadium on Tuesday, November 16, 2021. That is all on the newsroom. Thank you for staying with us. I am Simisola Adibon.